the contact form 7 spam problem and how to fix it with just one line of code. Hey, it's Oz here with another quick video tutorial to show you how to stop spam in contact form 7. If you're using the popular contact form 7 plugin on your WordPress website and you're getting some spam through that contact form, then let me share with you what I do to stop that spam dead in its tracks. Okay, so here I am on my demo site. I've just installed the Contact Form 7 plugin. For this, you won't be requiring any anti-spam plugins, any capture plugins, or any honeypot plugins. It's a nice and neat solution that stops spam without using a plugin, which is great because it means one less plugin on your installation, and that helps you keep the bloat down, which improves the performance of your WordPress website. So let's activate the Contact Form 7 plugin. And let's go to Pages and set up a new page for this. I'm going to call this Contact. Why not? Then back in Plugins, I'm going to go to the settings of my Contact Form 7 plugin and grab the shortcode. OK, let me copy that and let me paste that into this new page that I've just created. Let's publish that and let's go and see what that looks like. OK, so this is the default contact form and there is no protection on this whatsoever. And as you know, if you're already getting spam from contact form 7, it's highly likely that that spam is automated. So this solution is going to help you stop bot spam. So let's do this. The first thing you'll want to do is go back to your plugins screen and click on the settings link on your contact form 7 plugin. Here you'll see all your contact forms. I just have one because I've just installed this plugin. You'll want to apply this solution to each and every one of your contact forms to make sure you lock down those forms and prevent bots from sending you spam. So click on edit under your contact forms. And you'll see here in the form tab, the raw text and tags that make up the fields in your contact form. Now what I'm going to do here is add a short code just before the submit button. Let me do that now. And as you can see, this is a math quiz that's going to ask the user for an answer to the question, which is 11 plus 4. And that 15 there is the validation. If any number except 15 is entered, then it will fail the validation and it will stop that contact form from submitting the message. OK, so I'm going to save this. Now let's pop over to the contact page and refresh. And if we scroll down, you'll see that we now have a new input field which requires an answer. So I'm going to enter 12 and I'm going to click on send. And that's going to tell me that the answer to the quiz is incorrect. I'm also getting an error here showing me that the fields have errors. And that's because I haven't entered anything, of course. But I'm only interested in showing you the anti-spam solution. Now, if I go back to the contact form plugin in edit mode, where I just entered that line, you can tweak this however you like. You can change those numbers and make them harder if you want. If you prefer a non-math quiz, then you can use something like this. This is a capital quiz, and it's asking for the capital of England. You can see the answer here after the dash. And just like with the math quiz, that's the validation. Now, you'll find both these shortcodes in the description below this video, so don't worry, you don't have to pause the video and type them out. You can just copy the one that you want and insert it here, just as I have done. Remember, you only need one, and this will usually stop those auto submissions from bots. This is what I've always done, and I've never had any problems. And in case you're wondering, the solution comes from Contact Form 7 themselves. You'll find the shortcodes on their website. And there you have it. No more need to worry about spam. Now, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and that way we can keep in touch and you can stay up to date with all these cool tools and tutorials. In the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.